is three for four today. Lines this one pretty deep to center field. Going back is over her head is Kaler. One run is going to score, and Georgia State takes a one to nothing lead. 0 2 pitch. Lined into left field. This will be down for a base hit. Throw's going to come to the plate, and they're going to have a play, and she is safe. Did not touch her. Drake with the sweep tag, but was unable to make contact, and a great slide. Katie Worley with the wind. Change up is lined into right field, and that's going to go up the gap. A run's going to score, and Troy's going to take a two to one lead as. Holding at second base is going to be Hannah Day, an RBI double. Up the gap in right center field, scores Hartley from second base. 0-2 pitches lined over the head of the shortstop, Benton. Runners will all have to hold up. Throw is going to come into the plate. Now the throw is going to get away from Day, and the runner will score from third base on the overthrow. All the runners move up, and we're tied at two. And still playing in at the infield spots. And here's the squeeze bunt. Quick flip. And no, she got under the tag. Brown with the squeeze bunt. The third baseman, Neely, tried to handle the play and make the tag at the same time. But Latumbe was able to slide in under the tag. Third and Morgan Brown at second. This pitch is sky to right field, but coming over is the right fielder and can't make the play as Hartley drops it, trying to make the basket catch. Two runs will score, and it's a 5-2 to two game. One ball pitch is lined into left field, and this will be in for a base hit. Rounding third and going to score is going to be Alford, an RBI single for Coleman, and it is a 6-2 to two game. And coming on to pitch for Troy is going to be Ashley Rainey. Rainey, who is the designated player in the game, will come in now to pitch. Lines this one to left field. Coming on will be the left fielder making the catch, but tagging and scoring. And now a throw to third is you're going to get the runner there at third base on a collision. One run did score on what amounted to a double play on the throw back to third base. We will go to the bottom of the fifth inning and Georgia State will go to the bullpen as Taylor Thorpe will come in. Thorpe making her 42nd appearance of the year. She started 24 games. She is 17 and five in the circle with a 4.92 earned run average in the fifth inning. 0 for 1, skies this one to left field, going back, going back. This one is out of here. Heather Johnston with her first home run of the year. A solo shot to lead off the bottom of the seventh inning to make it a 9-3 game. And the 3-2 from Thorpe. Chopped toward the pitcher. She'll make the pick up and make the flip to first base in time for the third out. So Troy picks up a run in the seventh. They do it on one hit. Heather Johnston's solo home run to lead off the inning, but that was way too little and way too late as Georgia State takes a 9-3 victory in this game three of the Sunbelt Conference softball championship.